Sarah of Verge Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the peacock stitch. Uh, this is sometimes called a peacock fan stitch and it is comprised of these very large beautiful uh, fan um, stitches and um, it's beautiful. It's a two row repeat so it doesn't take much to catch on to. It's not a huge yarn needer. Uh, and it works up quite quickly and in the end you get this beautiful result. I think this stitch would look wonderful in a variegated or a self-stripping yarn uh, and you could use it in a multiple of projects. In fact, I'd love to hear how you would use this stitch in the comments down below. So for this tutorial today, I'm going to be using the Karen Times Pantone yarn, as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. And I will have direct links to each of these items in the description of this video, should you like to learn more about them. So uh, if you're new to my channel, I invite you to subscribe and check out some of the other videos that you'll find there. And uh, I'm going to grab my hook and some more yarn and we will get started and learn how to crochet this peacock stitch together. Now our stitch today is worked in rows so you're going to start by making a foundation chain. Now I found that when I worked this stitch I wanted my foundation chain to have a little bit of stability so I worked a first row of single crochet stitches. You're going to need a multiple of 10 stitches and then plus two for that foundation chain, okay? And uh, then if you'd like, as I did, I worked one row of single crochet stitches starting with the second chain from my hook and uh, that just gave my base there a little bit more stability when working this stitch simply because I found when I was working my double crochet or triple crochet stitches uh, it was pulling the chain apart a little bit so this row of single crochet gives it a little bit more stability. So what you're going to do for this after you have worked your multiple of 10 stitches plus 2 and worked a foundation row of single crochets if you would like, you're going to single crochet into your first stitch. So chain 1 and then single crochet into that first stitch. You're then going to work 9 triple stitches or sometimes they're referred to as treble stitches um, after skipping four chains so you are four single crochets so you're going to skip four stitches one two three four and then into that next one so your fifth one you're going to work nine triple or treble crochet stitches so to work those stitches you're yarning over twice skip four stitches insert your hook into that next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, yarn over, pull through two loops, and yarn over, pull through two loops. So you're going to work nine of those stitches all into the same stitch. So that was a one, that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, You're then going to skip the next four stitches, so one, two, three, four, and single crochet into the next stitch. So this is what you have so far. You're then going to skip the next four stitches and work nine triple crochets into that next stitch. So you're now going to repeat. Skip four, nine triples into the next stitch.
eight. Skip the next four stitches and single crochet into the next stitch. Repeat that all the way across. Skip four, work nine triple, skip four, and work a single crochet. When you come to your final five stitches, you will skip those four and then work one final single crochet into your last stitch. For your next row, you're going to chain four and turn your work. You're then going to work one triple into that first single crochet stitch. Chain three, skip the next four triple crochet stitches. So there's one, two, three, four. Into that fifth stitch, work a single crochet. Chain three, skip the next four, and then you're going to work a triple uh, V stitch. So you're going to work into the next single crochet and work one triple crochet. And two cri uh, triple crochets. So it's not quite a V stitch, it's really just two triple crochet stitches into that single crochet. Chain three, skip the next four triples into that fifth one, work a single crochet stitch. Chain three, and work two triples into the next single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way across. When you come to your final single crochet stitch, you're simply going to work your two triples into that single crochet. Then chain one and turn your work. For row three, you will have chained one you're now going to single crochet in between your first two triple stitches. So you have one triple stitch and your next one, you're going to single crochet in between those two stitches. You're then going to skip your next triple, your chain three, and into that single crochet stitch, you're going to work your nine triple stitches. here one two three four five six seven eight and one more is nine you're then going to skip your chain three in between your next two triples work a single crochet stitch skip one 
skip your next triple and your chain three into that next single crochet work nine triples you're going to repeat that all the way across to your final two triple crochet stitches where you will work a single crochet in between the two of them at the end of that row three you've worked your final single crochet you're then going to chain four and now for the rest of your pattern you are simply going to repeat those last two rows so your rows of double triples and your chain threes and then your rows of the peacock stitches or of these nine triples worked into the one single crochet stitch and that's all there is to working this pattern so go ahead and repeat those last two rows for as long as you would like i would love to hear how you would use this design in a crochet project and for you to subscribe to my channel i look forward to seeing you again soon and happy crocheting bye